Welcome back, you dingoes. You knew it was coming. The long-awaited episode 69. Nice. It's going to be a fun one because we got a top 25 team in Ohio State. Seven prospects visiting this week. Now's a good time for me to let you know that this video is brought to you by Raycon. We'll hear more from them at halftime. Tyler White is now up to a 91. Ike Bolden is up to an 84. Gino upgrades up to an 82. His catching continues to go up week to week. It's now up to an 82. He's about to hop Philip Miller for the highest rated receiver on the team. We've got a five-star athlete and two four-star defensive backs. All of them have the same goals, which I think are the hardest ones to get. The four swatted passes and the two interceptions. Rocking the all-yellow highlighter jerseys taking on Ohio State for the second year in a row. It was an ESPN Classic last time we faced off, but this time we got them here in the desert for our first home game of the season. Oh my lord, they've got a very good quarterback. Albert Simmons has 99 throw accuracy, 90 throw power. Their backup is amazing too. Robert Davis, 89 throw power, 95 accuracy. Oh, and they have some amazing receivers. Micah Bratton, 91, and Ron Wright is 89. Oh, Brian McBride threw that dude off. Almost got a pick of the first play. Richard Pizer was in position to pick it off. Yeah, we knew it's going to the left. Get out there. Tyler Sheeran, good job. Linebacker's doing well to start out. Oh, screen. Cody Spicer's there. What an opening stand for the Dingo defense. I don't know why I'm doing this. Just something told me to run the Wildcat on this play, so we're going to give it a go. Oh, we got holding, so that's going to move us back pretty far, actually, so a lot can go wrong, and Jonathan Glover's down. Well, yeah, no, we're never running Wildcat again. Never again. Well, we promoted Zach Harper to the starting tight end position, and uh, he got a holding play immediately, so Eric Hall, you, you step back in, and you're the better blocker anyway. Yep, Ryan Andrews doing okay. Another flag. No way. Is it holding again? Yes, it is. That's oh, David Hearn, but still. Come on, guys. Two holding penalties in a row. First and 27 to start the game. Yeah, now BJ Hill's fed up. Is like, are you kidding me? Oh, got nailed. Second and 27. What is happening? A little cut in. That might get us, like, what, six yards? Third and 22. We're going to have to heave this thing. Oh. Ian Stokes got it batted away. Freaking Gino on the right side was getting abused. He didn't even move. Two doo-doo drives to start the game for either side. I, I argue that ours was even worse looking, but it is what it is. Oh, that's a beautiful roll. Oh, is that at the one? Perfection from Matt Jesse. Wait, it said it's a touchback. Boo. One carry for Jonathan Glover. Back spasms, and he's out for the game. Oof. That guy's getting a first down. First one for either side today. Oh, good play from Chris Davis. Down the middle. Oh, got stiff-armed again. He's running backwards, but he still managed to get the first down. Got in the backfield. That's Jude Goodman. Oh, <laughs> ran into us. Got nothing. We hit him. It's hitting the dirt. Fourth down. Okay, that Zach Harper doing what he does best. Receiving. No flags, please. Thank you. Look at that. Oh, never mind. Over the middle. We got him. Gino's catching it. Oh, go upfield. Go upfield, Hernandez. I can't make the throw. He was on my butt. I'm throwing it. Philip Miller's got it. First down. Oh, Gino. Stay in bounds. Beautiful. Oh, zip it out to him. Almost a first down. We're working. Second down. Blocks are looking good. X is open. Philip Miller. Touchdown. Played around with the formations. Had guys going in motion on a bunch of different plays. That was an excellent drive. Not able to pop it loose. This quarterback's going to be tough. Like, how are we going to get interceptions and swats against one of the best quarterbacks in college football? Quickly throwing it out. Oh, we're getting pancaked. Stiff-armed. Another first down for him. 
Down the middle. Picked off. There's one interception. Way to go, Chris Davis. Oh, and we're getting a return. Is he cutting it back? I'll take it. Excellent for the recruits. That's at least one thing down for us. I'm going to throw it early. Gino's got it. Breaking off the safety, too. Come on, blocks. Nice. Philip Miller beat him. Could he be gone? Safety is super fast, but I'm going to cut back on him. Nah, I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Oh, Ian Stokes. Not into the end zone. I'm going to give this one to the fullback. And he stopped short. Kevin Davidson has looked good in this game, so let's see if we can pop it in here in fourth. He's over the top, and he's in. 14-0 Dingoes. Excellent start to this football game. Oh, he's trying to break away from it. And that guy somehow gets open. He's rolling out. Down the middle, guys. Get to the corner. Got the first down. They're about to get their first points of the game. Slant route, diving catch, touchdown Ohio State. The Buckeyes are on the board for the first time today, making it a one-score game again. If you don't ask me why I'm doing this, but we're going to do a toss play right here. Yes, right here on the 20-yard line for the memes. We're getting pancakes. Oh, my gosh. We're getting spin moves. We got a, almost a first down. You know, that, that actually didn't turn out too badly. Go, go, go. Run him over. Nice run. We're just going to Zach Harper underneath. Nice juke move. It's been a lot of running on this drive, trying to slow the game down. Look at these blocks. You has. You has 10 yards for the first down. Blockers on the edge. Oh, what a terrible pass. We got lucky it wasn't picked. A lot of times I'd go for this, but I don't want to lose at home. We're going to take the points here. Out on to Matt Jesse's already fantastic season so far. It's not open. And we sack him. That one's going to be out of bounds. We're going to have to punt it right back. Okay, we got that running back. Just stop and throw it now. Run these dudes over. That's a first down. Good. X is open. He was wide open. Damn. I got to have better pocket presence than that. Is he open? Beach has got it. First down. Okay, we're still moving. Can he get there? He got it, but he's going to be short of it. Fourth and one. Now, just to prevent them from getting anything before halftime, we're just going to take the three here. Make it 20 to seven. Field goal is good. We're up 20 to seven. Been in control of this game basically the entire time. Now that it's halftime, Let's hear from our sponsor, Raycon. Raycon specializes in high quality wireless earbuds. It's a company founded by Ray J and is a favorite of celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Cardi B, and J.R. Smith. Raycon's earbuds are about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market and they sound just as amazing. Their latest model, Everyday E25s, is their best one yet with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, and a comfortable compact design that allows a smooth noise isolating fit. The carrying case is awesome as well. It can charge the earbuds four times in a single charge. And you can also choose from an assortment of different color options. Personally, I really like the blue ones myself. I highly recommend the Everyday E25s. It's a good product from a great company. If you want to take advantage of my special offer right now, go to buyraycon.com slash NTE and you'll get 15% off your order. Or you can just click the link in the description below. And in doing so, you'll be helping out the channel directly while getting some high quality earbuds. Thanks again to Raycon for sponsoring this video. That's a good run right there. 12 yards for Brian Andrews. Get that away. Oh, baby, if we can get those blocks. Damn it, 62 Timbo Slice. You could have sealed it up. I'm going to missile it at him. Gino's got it. He is so good at that. Oh, but he drops the open pass. Happens to the best of us. Bullet. Gino did it again. Schmooby picked off fifth one of the season for Kevin Davidson in four games. Tough, tough game. Now he fumbles it. Nicholas McGovern falls on it. That's definitely Brian McBride popping it loose. 
the strip sack, and the freshman's there to recover. Coming in there. Oh, just put the helmet on it. That's got to hurt. Stuff like that is what's going to make Brian McBride a first-round draft pick. Dude is amazing. Kevin Davidson, on the other hand, his stock is slipping a little bit. Pretty sad to see, but he's still good. He's still good. I hope NFL scouts see that. Nice throw. That was a missile in the middle of the field. Ian Stokes wide open. He's got the touchdown. Oh, and the late hit. I decided to go for it here to make it a three-touchdown game. Air call back of the end zone. He's got it. 28-7. to Oh, dang it. Quarterback kept it. I could have got the TFL. Jude Goodman is almost too fast for his own good because I end up running past people. This one's got to be a sack. Never mind. It's a screen pass. Goodman is flying over there. Couldn't get there in time. What the? <laughs> Why did Brian McBride just do a little hop right there? Oh, nailed the ankles of the quarterback, and he still managed to complete the pass. Oh, this is a screen. He's not going to get it off. That's going to be a sack, making it fourth and 20. That's pushed him so far back, they're not even going to go for it. Bunch of Weenie Hut juniors, if you ask me. They are going to fake it. And he's going to be short of it. What? You fooled me. <laughs> you fooled yourself. Oh, I managed to get out of there. Can we cut to the outside? We got him. Kevin Davidson to the end zone. 26 yards. Doesn't do that very often, but that one was nice. And I think that's a good one to end off the day for him. One point game. Michigan State still ahead of Notre Dame. Wish I could watch live for that one. Oh, he's still on his feet. Soul and Spitz are not very good in coverage, apparently. That man was just running loose. Oh, he's taking off. Vinny Mixon can't tackle him. He's an offensive player. That explains a lot. Oh, Soul and Spitzer makes up for it this time. He doesn't even need gloves. Took a nasty shot at the end of it, too. Well, he's not a defensive back, so that doesn't add to our total there. But it's still nice to get an interception. First career one for him. Way to go, big man. Oh, we're backed up on our own two-yard line. So, Anthony, you as you better... Get us out of dodge right here. Actually, let's switch to that side. Jacob Franz will be the lead blocker for you. Oh, cuts it in. Not bad. What I'm thinking here is we give Tyler White a drive or two, and then we bring in Ike Bolden to give him some playing time. Underneath, Cameron Beach got hit. Oh, we're going to get sacked for a safety. Ah, oh, too long of developing routes. Embarrassing. Unnecessary points, but... At least it's comedy. Oh, he didn't get through. Cameron Hood saved the day. Indeed he does. Nice job. Oh, we're coming at his angles and we messed up. Oh, I messed up again. Second team's running around with like a chicken with his head cut off. Stiff arms us. Touchdown. So second team offense gives up a safety. Second team defense gives up a touchdown on the next drive. Not a good look at all. We might have to bring back in the first teamers. Notre Dame prevails. Wow. They come back and beat Michigan State late. Blocks are falling apart. Our second team O-line is not that good, I guess. Oh, try to run out of that. That's a great angle. Can it get out? It hopefully did. Did we get him at the one? Yes, we did. Matt Jesse, the legend, continues. Got Dane Underhill, Solon Spitzer out here. Leonard Seagull, he doesn't have blockers. We hit him, but he gets the pass off. They're going to get the first down. That's depressing. So no double safety this game. Oh, he popped it loose. Solon Spitzer. He's got an interception and a forced fumble on this game. And he's got a beautiful neck pad on top of it all. These blocks. Oh, Anthony, you has... I don't think he has the top speed to get past everybody, but he still actually had a... Great average, 8.4, 42 yards and five carries. Oh, blocks setting up. Like, he follows the blockers very well. Oh, never mind. That one was all me. I didn't follow blockers very well. Should have stuck to the outside. Oh, we got the running back. That, <laughs> what just happened there? Field goal is good. 38 to 16, 35 seconds to go. This one is all but done. Oh, we sack him again. That one's Cole Payne. 
Another victory for the Dingoes. We improved to 4-0 on the season. Kevin Davidson, four passing touchdowns in this game. Uh, we're going to overlook the one interception, though. He's got five total interceptions on the year, but I still think he's having some high production, and we're still undefeated, so he can't complain. Stats on the game. Kevin Davidson obviously got player of the game. 23-35, 302 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. Ike Bolden was one of two for two yards. Tyler White did not complete a pass. Jonathan Glover was injured on his first carry of the game, so he basically got nothing. Brian Andrews, 14 attempts, 79 yards. Anthony Uhaz was actually looking pretty good there at the end of the game. Seven attempts, 55 yards. Devin Davidson actually got two rushing touchdowns today. Pretty rare for him. He got one QB sneak and then one from 26 yards out. Gino and Phillip Miller are both very, very consistent. Seven catches for both of them. Both of them also got 100 yards receiving today. Five pancakes for Timbo Slice. My boy. Free pancakes for you, son. Solon Spitzer actually ended the game with the most tackles for us. Seven. He also got an interception and a forced fumble. He's a young player. Hasn't had a lot of playing time yet, but that's got to be his career game up to this point. We also got four sacks today. One for Cole Payne, one for Rob Story, Brian McBride, and Richard Pizer. Two picks on the game, of course, Solon Spitzer and Chris Davis. Three field goals on the game for Matt Jesse, adding to his total on the season. I hope he wins the Grozer Award. Dude is the best in college football. He also had two punts today. Average of 58 yards, one down at the one yard line with a long of 70. Sheesh. 455 yards of total offense today. The four turnovers for Ohio State is really the big key. Defense did a phenomenal job today. Really proud of you. Bang! The number two cornerback in the country in Josh Russell committing to the team here in week six. Oh, but Don Rosario locked us out. That's the price we pay. But we also get Melvin Cotton, who it says it's a wide receiver, but I'm likely to convert him to tight end. Actually, Don Rosario, we're only like 3,000 points behind, so I'm going to open the door right here and get us back in the mix of things. Yeah, there we go. We jump up ahead to number two on the list. Give him the max points and stay in this race. That's awesome, too. We move ahead for Zach Potts the number two guard in the country. He got 90 strength, which is extremely rare for offensive linemen, I think, anyway. Future NFL player without a doubt, Zach Potts. We need him on the team. 6'3", 179 pounds out of California. Number two cornerback in the country. Coming to DVSU. 91 man coverage, 89 zone. He's got good enough speed. This guy's gonna be good. Melvin Cotton, 6'6". Six, six. We don't need him at receiver. I'm gonna put him at tight end. 88 speed, 91 acceleration. The reason I say tight end is the strength because it doesn't show blocking attributes, but hopefully it's good enough. You know, it doesn't have to be, like it doesn't have to be our blocking tight end one. Just put him out there on receiving downs. That's pretty much all I have for this video. Next episode, we're taking on uh, yet again another ranked opponent in Nebraska. But I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book and as for me, I'm Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace.